வெல்கம் டு ஸ்கை ப்ரோக்கிங் கமாடிட்டி வீக்லி மார்க்கெட் கமெண்ட்ரி டிஸ்க்ளைமர் திஸ் வீக்லி மார்க்கெட் கமெண்ட்ரி இஸ் ஃபார் இன்ஃபர்மேஷன் பர்பஸ் ஓன்லி விஃபோர் டேக்கிங் எனி டெசிஷன் கன்சல்ட் டு ஃபினான்ஷியல் அட்வைஸர் மேஜர் டேட் ஆஃப் திஸ் வீக் ஹேஸ் எக்கனாமிக் அண்ட் இன்ஃபிளேஷன் ரிலேட்டட் டேட்டா அண்ட் த மேஜர் இவெண்ட்ஸ் லைக் யூஎஸ் ஃபெட் சேர்மேன் மிஸ்டர் பவுல் ஸ்பீக்ஸ் அண்ட் யூரோப் இசிபி பிரசிடென்ட் லகார்டே ஸ்பீக்ஸ் அண்ட் தேர்ஸ்டே Now let's see the precious metals outlook. Gold and silver has news like gold inched lower on Thursday but finished with a second consecutive weekly gain as the Ukraine crisis and broadening inflationary pressures lifted the yellow metals appeal among safe haven punchers. The bond market sell off resumed after more hawkish Fed talk. Fundamentally, this is a mixed news for precious metals and technically speaking, gold may expect a mixed trade, silver also may expect a mixed trade. So these are this week's precious metals outlook. Now let's see the energy outlook. First is crude oil. It has a news like sales at gas stations were up by 8.9% respectively from the last month. Fundamentally this is a positive news for crude oil and technically speaking if crude oil may test 8188 which means the positive rally will continue up to 9370 levels by positionally Next is natural gas it has a news like the European Union has taken five rounds of increasingly severe financial sanctions against Russia since February 24 but it has kept sanctions on gas imports off the table because they remain too critical to germany fundamentally this is a positive news for natural gas and technically speaking natural gas remains in the positive trend so these are this week's energy outlook now let's see the base metals outlook first is copper it has a news like producers are increasingly finding it hard to transport their copper out of operation sites in the democratic republic of congo drc due to truckers choosing to stay away from the country's border this is fundamentally a positive news for copper and technically speaking copper may expect a range bound trade in between 802 to 835 levels next is aluminum it has a news like the inventory in east china is especially high at present this is fundamentally a negative news for aluminum and technically speaking aluminum may expect a range bound trade And next is lead. It has a news like lead prices rose slightly and smelters maintained narrow discounts while the downstream purchased only on rigid demand. This is fundamentally a positive news for lead and technically speaking lead may expect a range bound trade. Next is zinc. It has a news like in this case the downstream demand was suppressed by higher prices and real transactions were poor. This is fundamentally a slight negative news for zinc and technically speaking zinc may expect a range bound trade and finally it's nickel it has a news like china's nickel sulfate prices refresh all time high but spot trading is low fundamentally this is a negative news for nickel and technically speaking nickel may expect a volatility trade so these are this week's commodity weekly market commentary for more market updates join our telegram channel and the youtube channel thank you by skybroking